listening, Godline Russell, and I'm going to tell you about one of my absolute favorite resources to use to share what's going on in my library, and that is, as you can see on my screen, S'more. S'more is this amazing tool that helps you create amazing newsletters that look professionally done that are so easy to use. I love, 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 love it. It has made my library newsletters so much more um, organized and really pretty and just great and wonderful looking in general. I get so many compliments on them and I tell everybody I use S'more, it's not me. S'more makes it so easy to get everything that's going on into one organized, gorgeous place. If you're not familiar with S'more already, it makes it so easy to just start a newsletter. You just click start a newsletter. But pro tip, what I do is I go to my newsletter, I go to the options menu, and I just duplicate every month. And I just build off of what I did the month before and change things out. So each newsletter that I make has the same general setup, but the thing, individual things that I did that month are different. So my newsletter starts with, this is our library news, the month that we're talking about. It's got my calendar. And all this is, is a Google slide presentation, and I saved the one slide as a JPEG and just inserted it here. Then I've got some quick facts about how many books were circulated that month, how many individual library visits happened, the average per day, how many classes I did, an average of how many students received instructions, and depending on what else went on, I'll share like how many book talks I did, how many, um, PD things I did, just little snippets, quick information. So then I have that this month is School Library Month, and this came from American Association of School Libraries. And again, that's just a JPEG that I inserted there. Put in some information about School Library Month, some of our new books, another picture I inserted, some quick text about what we've been doing. Our book fair was this month. Our lunch and learn with some pictures. And then I started this RSVP, and so far I've heard that this is really cool. Um, so you put in your invitation to your event happening, and then if you have the paid version, they can directly RSVP in your newsletter, and then you'll get the responses. The free version, you can only make the event, not receive responses. So, um, And then I include another Google slide picture as a link to what the presentation is, um, what's coming up in my library, and then next month, which is this month's calendar. I include some extra information about what's coming up in our district, friendly reminders about the library, and some links for everybody that would want different information. This is our about section that I love, 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 love. It is a really easy way to get all of your contact information in one place. You can put your picture here, you could put a bitmoji, you could put a picture of your school, anything. And then I like to include what I'm currently reading. Again, this is another Google slide that I save as a JPEG. Pop in my bitmoji. Boom. There you go. Again, I love S'more. It makes things so easy. You can also see your analytics. Look at this. This is amazing for who exactly has seen your newsletter, so you can spend some more time on that if you want to. You can also send yourself that report, see who's been looking at your location, where these links, uh, the links that I have in my newsletter and how many people have clicked them. It is so cool and honestly, I feel like I'm barely, I've barely touched the surface on all the cool stuff that S'more can do and I'm definitely gonna keep using it forever because I see how it is valuable in my library and I love, love, love when people see it as well and see the cool things that I'm doing thanks to S'more and my newsletters.